Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a AFK Soul of Light farm. This is actually pretty easy. The only requirements your world needs to have is to be in hard mode. So once you've defeated the Wall of Flesh, you can go ahead and start building this arena here. Now, in order to make this work, it is going to require a few difficult to get items after you have defeated the Wall of Flesh. So you don't have to get all of these items in order for this to work, but for it to work efficiently and well, you will need most of these items. All right guys, so to start with this build, what you're going to need is any summon weapon of your choice. All right, so guys, the first thing you're gonna wanna do to start this AFK farm is just to find a big hollowed out, hollowed biome. So the hollowed biome is pink. You will have pearl sand block. You will have different types of pink cobblestone and you will have these pink creatures spawning that will drop souls of light. Once you have found a hollowed biome, you can either dig it out yourself or find a wide open area, but you want this area to be big and open just like this one here. All right guys, so the next thing you're gonna wanna get is a water candle. These can be found easily in the dungeon. So after you've defeated Skeletron, you will be able to go down into the dungeon and get yourself a water candle. So guys, what the water candle is used for is to boost spawn rates. If you want your AFK farm to be as efficient as possible, you're going to want a water candle so that more monsters spawn, then in turn spawning more souls of light. Alright, next on the list guys, what you're going to want to get are buckets of honey. So, all you need to make buckets is a few iron bars, and then you will want to go into the jungle biome and find the queen bee's nest in order to get buckets of honey once you've got your buckets of honey what you're going to want to do is build a little platform like i have here and place them in there the reason i'm telling you guys to use buckets of honey is because it will give you a buff but slow you down so this will give you very high health regeneration but it will not allow you to move because this is an afk farm it doesn't matter if you can't move so this is very helpful in keeping you alive while you farm for these souls okay guys once you have gotten your health regen from your honey i highly recommend you spawn the bewitching table the reason the bewitching table is nice is because we will be using summons for this build Next guys, for this build, I recommend using the turtle armor. The reason I recommend the turtle armor is because it will do damage to your enemies and it will also increase the chance of you being targeted, meaning that it will bring more enemies to you and it will damage them if they attack you. A good example is right now when this enchanted sword comes and tries to kill me, I have very high defense and I'll be able to kill him just by simply sitting here. The last thing I recommend for this build, guys, is a summon weapon of your choice. It doesn't matter what you pick, but I recommend a high damaging summoning weapon like the Pygmy Staff. The reason the Pygmy Staff is good for this is because they will run around and kill the enemies for you. Now guys, these next few items are highly recommended but are not required for this build to work. The next few items on this list are going to be accessories that will help your minions do more damage. I will be using the Papyrus Scarab, the Hercules Beetle, the Necromantic Scroll, and the Pygmy Necklace. The reason I'm using these guys is because they will highly increase my spawn and damage of the Pygmy Staff. This will allow my Pygmies to do really high damage against these enemies, gathering my souls of light and also making it possible to spawn even more pygmies so that this farm is as efficient as possible. As you can see, we also have a hollowed mimic spawned here, and my minions will be able to take care of that mimic by themselves. Alrighty guys, now in order to prove to you that this AFK farm works, I will be leaving this here for 5-10 to 10 minutes and showing you how many souls we get from the pygmies. I'll check in in a few minutes to show you how this farm works.
Alrighty guys, so after about 5 minutes of my AFK Soul of Light farm, we have gained 17 Souls of Light. I went and I collected them all after I showed you the time lapse of my pygmies killing things, and we gained 17 Souls of Light. That is not bad at all, as you can see there are plenty of enemies spawning here again. The pygmies are going ham on them, and uh, they're going to continue to collect Souls of Light as long as I sit here. Hope you guys enjoyed this afk soul of light farm it's very useful for crafting certain items in this game hope you guys enjoyed hope it was helpful to you if it was please drop a like and subscribe check out some of my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one thank you for watching